so I've made two videos so far about how to keep fish with turtles one is exactly as that is titled and the other is um, the top five fish tank mates for turtles um, it seems that I'm one of the very few people who is putting out such content and such information and I really really want to help all of you because I know what it's like I really love keeping fish with turtles it's one of the most fascinating things out there uh, when you see such combinations and also because I still get a, a lot of questions in the comments and I think that sometimes what you guys need is uh, a little bit more information to give you that confidence or sometimes you want something you want a particular fish and you're stuck you don't know how to make it work so this video I'm gonna give you five extra tips advanced tips for uh, if you just need more confidence if uh, there's a particular fish you want and you're having some issues trying to get them to cohabitate then these five tips might help you it might address particular problems you have and if you just like this topic and want to listen more all right so tip number one is that when the lights go off never ever ever turn it back on now the most the, the, the time your turtle is trained to go hunting in the wild is not when it's bright and sunny because they are not the best uh, predators out there they're not there's a particular term for it but basically they don't actively chase a healthy fish because chances are in the wild they can never catch such a fish so they either attack fish that are vulnerable that are weak that are sick or they go hunting later at night when it's dark when the fish are resting so what does this mean at the home aquarium is that when you turn off your lights at night you must never ever turn it back on because what is going to happen is your turtle is going to wake up and turtles waking up goes from like zero to hundred okay um, they wake up and in an instant they're good to go they are fresh and alert uh, your fish not so much when the lights come on they're still resting, they're still daisy. It takes a long, long time before they become awake. And also at night, when the lights come on, um, it is nighttime. So your turtle is hungry and is in his or her hunting mode. So this is the ultimate disaster combination. Your turtle is going to have a feast if you ever turn on your lights after they go off. Now, this goes beyond just when you turn on and off your lights because what this actually means for you is that you have to be very strategic about where you place your aquarium in the first place um, preferably or should i not say preferably you have to place your aquarium in a place that when the lights go off they you, you can afford you can ensure that they never come back on and what this means is that imagine if you put your turtle and fish aquarium in your bedroom right and more often than not there will always be times where your lights in the bedroom are off because maybe you are out you're out wherever you are and then you come home and then you turn on even if you don't turn on your aquarium light you turn on the surrounding lights you turn on your room lights and that is going to light up the aquarium that is going to wake up your turtle and your fish are going to be sleeping and that is going to cause disaster so you want to place your aquarium in a place where you can ensure that when the lights go off they never come back on and this is and we're not even talking about majority of the time we're talking about this cannot happen so it must really be in a place where you can ensure that it never ever comes back on or it's so rare that in the odd occasion that you have to turn on the lights in the room wherever it is placed that it's so um, infrequent that you can actually just take the turtle out for that one time or one or two times that you have to do it all right, the second tip that's going to help you is to introduce your new fish at night. Now this to me is, um, if you're desperate and you're trying and it's for a fish that you really want to work but you can afford to lose, then this might be the, the solution. But this will not be, this is not the general way that I advise everyone to add a new fish. So let me explain. Um, in normal circumstances, you want to add the fish in the daytime. This is because you can observe the fish and you can make changes or take the fish out or take the turtle out 
as necessary when you see that it's being chased too much or sometimes just breaking up that little chasing here and there just to make sure it survives through the first day and as we all know once they make it past the first day they're usually okay but what i found is that when you add fish at night this increases your success rate a lot higher but it also increases the chances of you missing out on you know any predation that might happen the next morning unless you wake up really early in the morning just to make sure that you know before the sunrise before the lights come on that you're there ready to see this uh first time they're interacting but if not i can't explain this phenomenon but whenever the turtle sleeps with the fish i don't mean it in a weird way but when they when they spend a night together in the aquarium somehow the next morning the, the turtle just doesn't chase the fish uh, it's the weirdest thing ever i don't really have a logical explanation for why this is but usually after the night together they are perfectly fine it does not chase it anymore so this is something that you can do for fish that you're having difficulty but again it's something it's a fish that is not like a super expensive fish or it's not a fish that you just can't afford to lose because there's a very high chance um, just because you're not watching the tank uh, something happens in the morning you're still sleeping there goes your fish right all right so the third tip is the add and remove method so now this is something that you can employ uh, again when you're facing difficulties adding the fish to the turtle aquarium and that is when you add the fish you can add and remove your turtle uh, intermittently now what this does is your turtle is going to see the fish and it's going to chase it and usually uh, you know you, you, you might decide that oh it's coming too close all the time and this is not going to work out but what you want to do instead is hang in there don't give up take the turtle out let it rest let the fish recover this gives a time this does two things right it gives the fish a time to recover because if it's constantly being chased it's stressed it starts to get tired out it starts to be less responsive less uh, able to evade predation and the other thing is that it's getting the turtle used to seeing the fish in the tank but when you take it out of course it just can't do anything about it and so it's slowly engraving in its mind that i can't catch this fish and the fish is also given time to recoup and do it again so you want to keep doing this on and off on and off uh, we, we're talking over the span of maybe a day so you want to make sure that when you do this you have enough time throughout the day it's not you're not rushing through a day you don't have to go somewhere go to school go to work in the next one hour and you can't keep doing this because it will probably take uh, maybe at least an hour or three hours that if you have to resort to this it will at least last this duration before you can lift the turtle in there will probably be still some chasing but it would die down to very rare occasions and it's something that your fish will be able to handle on its own and then of course eventually they spend the night together and things should be okay by the next day right. fourth tip is to feed big pellets or maybe more specifically i should say avoid feeding only very small pellets uh, depending on what fish you guys keep inside some of them may need or prefer smaller pellets and this should always always be coupled with big pellets as well because one very big issue i always see is when you feed very very small pellets is uh especially when your turtle gets big and you're keeping it with a small fish the turtle is going to smell food but the pellets are just going to be too small that it's negligible but the problem is that the smell the scent of the food is going to make the turtle uh, go into its eating mode it's going to think food is around it's going to look around and it can't see these small tiny fine little pellets and granulates but it's going to see your fish and that instantly signals to the turtle that the fish is the food and this happens sometimes with me even till this day even when i feed big pellets there are times the turtle during feeding time just suddenly goes a bit confused but at least for me the, my fish are able to defend themselves the blood parrot sometimes the turtle will try to bite a blood parrot face on because it smells the food and it sees the blood parrot but of course uh, this is rare occasions and it's avoidable but in general feed big pellets you will avoid these situations it will go from something like maybe it happens one in every 50 or 100 times you feed it 
if you feed small pellets and you don't uh, feed any big pellets with it, this will happen a lot more frequently. All right, so the last tip here is not really a tip, but it's something that is, I think it addresses a lot of comments that I always get. And that is just to know that it is easier to add your fish first before the turtle. I'll explain that later. Then it is to add your turtle first, then the fish. Uh, reason for that is fish always take a long time to acclimatize to the water. So when they're first added, they are usually not as responsive, they're stressed out. They're basically very easy and vulnerable targets. Um, even if you give them extra time, you know, one hour, two hours to acclimate, it's nothing compared to a fish living in its environment for weeks or months that is just so used to the water, used to the temperature, used to the environment. Then you add a turtle in, the chances of it evading predation is obviously much higher. The issue comes when um, we're talking about what actually happens because chances are a lot of people want to know, I have X and X fish, can I add a turtle inside? And the response I always give is that uh, unless this, you, know, you can afford to lose this fish, never ever do that because, uh, you know, once your fish is eaten, once your fish is hurt, sometimes it's irreversible. Now, the other way around, although it's harder, makes more sense. Uh, you add the turtle in and then you buy a new fish that you have no form of uh, attachment or, or, you know, this relationship with. You add it in, if anything goes south, I mean, we hope not, but it's not as bad as losing a fish that you have kept for two, three years that you have named it a name and then you know, you have this personal attachment to the fish and then it gets bitten or eaten or hurt, then that will suck a lot more. So if you're starting fresh and you don't know which to get, then I say it's okay to get the fish first because uh, you have every intention to keep the turtle. So just make sure that you don't end up keeping the fish for two years first, grow strong attachment, then say I want to add the turtle, unless you don't have attachment to the fish and you're willing um, okay, I, maybe willing is not the good word, but you aren't so affected if the fish, if anything were to happen to the fish. All right, guys, so these are the five extra advanced tips that hopefully help you with keeping more turtles. I really want to make more information and content on this topic because it seems to be a topic that no one is addressing and you know, I've, with the years of experience I have with keeping fish with turtles, I've made countless mistakes and I do get shit for them on the internet. But all these lessons, they're not just personal lessons. I wish to share them with everyone. Make sure everybody knows and so that everyone can enjoy it because I can tell you that keeping fish with turtles and turtles with fish, whichever, which, 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 whichever way you want to see it, is an amazing experience. And I'll be creating a playlist. Uh, so currently this will be my third video. More videos to come on this playlist. So check out the playlist. I'll put a link in the description below where you can see everything that has to do with keeping fish with turtles, keeping turtles with fish. And so I hope this gives you the confidence. I hope this helps you out. And I'll see you sometime in the future.